Hey everyone, welcome back where we are testing every single mask in the free world. That's right, all the masks that you can get in America, right here in our PFE machine, we are testing it for you. Today we are testing the Mediacom Safe Mask Free Flow. This is a really cool mask, but before I show you why, let's get it inside the clamp machine. The Clamp Tastic 9000, the Clampinator. <laughs> The clamp -a ding dong Those are all technical terms, by the way. All right, uh, let's let it rip. Let's see how this puppy does. Now, we bought this on a website specifically because someone was telling me about how cool of a mask this was, which I'll show you in a second. But I, I do want to show you where we got it from. This uh, SafeCodental.com a mask a free flow level two. So they are saying, I mean, this is like it's made in China, obviously, but it's it's like a legit mask that's been around for a while. And uh, I think it's like, you know, mostly for like dentists um, and it's got some really cool features, which I'm about to show you. So let's look at the box real quick. Um, box is nice, not soft touch, but they're doing a pretty good job. These guys have been around since way before the pandemic. ASTM level two, so that they are making a claim of 98% or better, which we will test here using this machine. This machine uh, is specifically tuned to test their claims here. So we'll see how it ends up turning out. Uh, what's interesting is that sometimes these manufacturers do a test one time, they get their certifications, they move on, and they don't test for 15 years. That's one of the reasons why we bought this machine so that we could test every single batch of masks, but not everyone does that. It's not sealed in a box or in a bag. You know, I don't love that, but look at this. What? Look at this BAMF. So first of all, you're going to notice an almost full tang nose wire. What? They're also putting an extra layer of like, what's like a hundred GSM, super thick fabric on the back end, because what they want to do is give you like a nice fit on the top of your face. Um, then they've got this circular uh, pattern here. And look at this, one, two, three, four folds in there. The whole point of that is to, and I think they have a, well, they didn't do a very good demonstration here, but it's to give you more breathing room. This is going to be a much taller mask than you normally see. Um, and when you put it on, it's going to conform to your face a lot better. So the idea is, and that is really nice. I mean, if I could give them extra points, like, but this is a great seal. And then the circular motion here, what it's designed to do is to give me a better seal here. So what you're going to find is that this mask probably better than most surgical masks is going to give you a really great seal and more breathable area, which just means it's just going to be a lot more delightful to breathe in, right? Um, but let's take a look at some of the more construction things. Because it only has this, um, this, this, this sonic weld, uh, this one uh, area of sonic welding, just to kind of show it against another mask, they have, it looks like, four different layers of small sonic welding. That's going to give more... Um, uh, it's going to be stronger. And so if I pull it, it's going to open up like that. So that on the construction side is not ideal. That said, they did such a great job on the other stuff. I'm not going to, I'm not going to ding them for that, but let's check out the, uh, the ear loops. Those are great. I mean, if you really pull on it, it's going to break, but this is a good mask. Let's do the smell real quick. Oh, the smell is actually kind of uh, delightful. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna call this uh, a pharmacist's office. You know, medical, clean, not offensive. 20 out of 20. 25 out of 25. All right, but does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Now remember, they're making claims on the website. They're making claims on the box. 98%, that's what they're claiming. Are they gonna hold up? Let's see. Nope, way off. <laughs> now, granted, we only tested one mask here, but this is pretty bad. 94.307, 94.307. For an ASTM level two or three mask, it's gotta be way better than that. There's no way that you're testing this entire box and that thing is coming out smelling roses at 98%. That's my opinion on that. Um, I think they're kind of phoning it in a little bit. That's bad, this is a medical product. They're making a claim. I think this is the FDA cleared mask and they're making a claim that it's 98% and it comes in at 94. That's not good. 
Ooh, I don't like to see that. All right. Um, thank you very much for looking at this. If this was helpful, uh, if you enjoy uh, different mask designs like I do, and then seeing that even though the design's amazing, they're failing you with filtration, uh, then give me a like or subscribe or don't. You know, I'll just go cry in the corner. There's a closet over there. It's my cry closet. That's what I use. So when I don't get enough likes, that's where I go. I'll see you next time.